Hello, Libra. Let's um, entertain ourselves today, Libra. Let's do your reading. What messages do we have for Libra? Mm -hmm. You signed up to do the journey together before you were born. Nothing will go wrong. Okay, that's divine love, as they say, right? Two paths to choose, but equally attractive for different reasons. Stuck in indecision. Indecision. And this is a very hard choice, the hard decision to make, especially for Libras. <laughs> Um, especially if you're presented with two really good options, which one do you go for? <laughs> it's all about questioning here. After no contact, they are wondering if they have lost you. They expected you to call. Wow. Hmm. So it looks like you had a situation with a soulmate, a yeah, soulmate type of person soulmate who may have or may who may or may not have been who may or may have not completed their time with you yet so that's what it says here you know you were the journey you signed up for a journey together so this person is meant for you to meet in this lifetime and whatever this is it could be hard every now and then uh, in dealing with each other but um, nothing will go wrong as they say divine love but i'm just get i'm getting that um you have a soulmate connection with someone and that um this is likely someone that you have had no contact with for a while and now they are wondering if they have lost you and libra they expected you to call maybe you have been pleasing uh you know that sort of uh, people pleasing as they say right in a good way but more of you were accommodating to this person. If they don't call you in the past, you used to always call them. And now this time, probably you don't call them. And now they kind of, where is Libra? Why is Libra not calling now? You know, after I ghosted Libra for six months, one year, after one year, Libra called me. And then now, after they ghosted you again, after nine months or 10 months, Libra hasn't called yet. Why? <laughs> this person has high expectations of you, Libra. Let's see. What does the tarot have to say for Libra? Okay, it's justice. It's your card. Well, I believe for now you are just being you. You're, you're embodying the Libra quality. That means that if you feel like things are unfair, you must correct it. You must uh, do something to make things right. And if it happens to be in your relationship, if somebody has not been respectful yeah, for the relationship or even towards you, what should a Libra do? And justice comes in. Yeah? So you do what you must do in order probably to teach that person a lesson by not chasing them. Mm-hmm. It looks like somebody here is um, starting a new phase, excitement, excited to be, to be getting richer by the day, yeah, to be known and all that. Wow. So it looks to me like you're dealing with someone who is a little bit of a hardcore, a stubborn. <laughs> individual i don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing but you're you're dealing with someone here who has uh, they are their own person yeah even if they feel something towards you this is not someone who will just blurt it out they may have a lot of feelings towards you but externally they will still be looking very composed cool calm and collected mm -hmm. and sometimes could even be cold uh, but I see that this person also acknowledge, acknowledges the fact that you, Libra, is someone that um, you're kind of a, you're the queen of pentacles. So they see you as someone for the long term type of uh, person. Yeah, so somebody who is willing to invest as long as you know that you're investing in the right thing. You're willing to put in effort in a relationship as long as you know this relationship is going somewhere. Yeah. Uh, and this person knows that. 
this person knows um, that you ha you hold yourself in high regard in as much as um, you spend your time wisely. If this person doesn't talk to you, you would not waste time waiting on or, or waiting on them or you will not waste time um, hoping they would come back and then just do nothing in the meantime. You're not doing that. For some of you, you're even starting a new phase, like a new project. Uh, Ace of Wands could also mean um, relocation or traveling or starting a new job or just being ignited, just being, um, you know, the new sparks to do new things, things that you love. It could even be about work, new projects that you are so engrossed about. Yeah, because you know that that could bring you expansion, stability, more money. Yeah. Success. Okay. Success. And I feel like this person, even if they're not talking to you right now, they are keeping tabs on you. Very much so. They're looking at you from afar, even checking your um, social media. Um, and all they see is that for some of you, if you're single Libra, this is Nine of Pentacles. They see that you are comfortable, that you are um, enjoying your life, you're doing whatever you like, whatever you enjoy in life. They can see that you are in a good place, yeah. And whatever place that is, if you if you are like stable in your own might, yeah. And they see that this person has really been thinking about you. For some time now. Could even start in December. Yeah, December. And they want to talk to you, Libra. This person wants to talk to you. They want to... They want to express how they feel about you. They're planning how to open up a conversation. How to make you listen. <laughs> That's what I see. This person wants to know how to make you listen to them, to their explanation, whatever this explanation is. Because there, mu there must have been some arguments or conflicted ideas or you just didn't agree with something in the past. There was some form of disagreement here or misalignment of ideals, right? And um, I feel like there was some sexual tension here as well. Devil. And I feel like even if this person really wants to be with you, they want to spend time with you, they want to be with you in, in let's say, commitment, um, they might not have expressed it. Yeah. And it feels like right now, this is what's occupying this person's mind. They want that commitment. They're stuck in how can I get the... You know, how can I explain to Libra that I want this commitment or I want this committed relationship with Libra? For example, yeah, this is it. It's like they see you as someone is capable of doing that and they want it too. But it's more like they don't know. Devil is like in a stuck um, situation, right? It could also be because some, I don't know, sexual tension in the past that may not have led to some, I don't know, just put it at bay, yeah, if that applies to you. But here I see that this person wants a, a more realistic pentacles, is realistic, uh, practical situation, right, or event. So this person wants a, a rather more realistic encounter, a realistic relationship or commitment with you, but they don't know how to get to it. Because it, see, it seems like when they approached you, they were just like a happy-go-lucky, easy, I don't know what I want type of thing, type of uh, person. Yeah, But here, somebody really wants that commitment, really wants to, to get uh, a relationship, a very relationship material kind of person. And I feel like they're thinking about and planning how to express how they feel about you. Uh, they're doing that. Um, if they are away from you, if you haven't heard from this person, definitely they're keeping tabs on you in social media. Um, 
and they've been thinking about this over and over again. Yeah, every time they see you that you're happy, you're alone, even if you're alone, you're happy, you're doing your thing, yeah, you're comfortable, you look, you know, the, the, the energy that you're putting out there really makes this person think that maybe you're out of their league, yeah, but they still keep checking on you online. Or that, you know, this person thinks that it's probably not easy to get you back or to get back into your good graces. Especially if you're already embodying the justice energy. That means you already know what you need to know about this person, about their intention, about their, um, about the situation you had together. You already know what there is to know. So once you're there... It's very clear. A Libra can easily decide. But when you were still gathering information about a person, about a situation, that's when you get to be indecisive because you know that, yeah, possibly there are still more information to come. I still need to collect data, that sort of thing. But here, it seems like you already know what you need to know. And likely so that you're living this good life right now, it's because... You probably have decided, you made that verdict that if this person is not here with you, then they're not supposed to be in your life. But on the other hand, this person is stuck in the idea that they want that relationship. They want to, oh wow, you see, they're coming to get you, they're coming to talk to you. And they want this fool, they want this uh, new cycle with you. Yeah, you have someone here who's pretty much staying quiet from afar, but is nonstop thinking about you, um, wants to have an acceptance, ace of cups, it's new love or new way of acceptance, you know, sense of acceptance, forgiveness, right? And they've been thinking about how they can be forgiven. And somebody who wants to take a leap of faith to have that new cycle with you, even if it's, even if they don't know what's going to happen next, I feel like this person will come forward and um, reach out to you. Will send, definitely send that message. And you know what? At the bottom of the deck, you have the nine, uh, nine of cups. This is like achieving uh, whatever you wish. Your wish is about to come true. That sort of thing. Your wish is about to come true. Somebody here is willing to put in the effort, the good effort to make things work. I'm going to leave it at that and let me know if this resonates in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe.